I really appreciate it. I think it's important to laugh. I think it's important to support local businesses. And I think it's important to get shit faced as much as you possibly can. Let's hit the trifecta tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the show going. You guys ready? You pumped? You warmed up? And right now, it is my pleasure to introduce your first uh, comedian for the night. She's a very funny, very talented young lady. Uh, she's all the way from the booming metropolis of Braidwood, Illinois. Let's have a round of applause for Tanya Beasley, everybody! Easy. Is this gonna hold me? <laughs> Big load. <laughs> Give me some of them flags. I'll put them on my ass. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Good? Yeah. Ready to rock the house here? Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> really rambunctious there. New Year's resolutions. Y'all got them? You sticking with them three months later? Never. Oh, yeah. Not so much. Me either. Mine's New Year's resolution is lose weight. How do you think I'm doing with this? <laughs> Every year. Fatness runs through my jeans like uh, diarrhea. <laughs> Whole family's fat. That's how it goes. Yeah. Jarrett, you gotta love Jarrett. Five dollar foot long. I called him up one night, got drunk. <laughs> I told him, I said, I bet you ain't got a buck 99 in that belt. <laughs> yeah. Six inches, my ass. You never get a foot gone. Five dollar, whatever. Give you a penny for your thoughts. It's all good. God bless him. He didn't like it either. He didn't think that was funny. He didn't like it. I don't know. Well, look at that. My beer spit on me. I didn't like that. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know. All you women, you go to the gym. Mary Kay. Yeah. You buy all that shit. You don't need Mary Kay. Jack Daniels. <laughs> go to the gym. You don't need Jim. Jim Beam. You got it. You're set to go. It's all good. <laughs> so quiet in here tonight. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Laugh. It's funny shit. I tell you. I promise. I'm a little nervous, you know. I haven't had many beer nuts here. That's what I call them. Beer nuts. It's all good. You ever go to Walmart and you look at all the lady little uh, inserts that they have? They have this new thing, it's called Norforms. It's a vaginal suppository for women. And it's like a stick up for the coochie. You know, stinky, stinky, stinky. But they're doing it wrong. They got like rolling meadow, island breeze. They need like pizza flavored, bacon cheeseburger, little beer, little barley and hops, but no yeast, because then you're going to need another insert. <laughs> It's never good. I don't know. Yeah. You ever watch commercials? That brandy? You ever seen that? Have a happy period. Really? Somebody needs to slap the fuck out of that bitch. That's all I'm talking about. Have you ever had a happy period? The only happy period I had is when I was late. We have six kids. So we neutered him. Went straight to the source. Little fertile turtle, I call him. That little pumpkin there. <laughs> yeah, he thinks that's funny. <laughs> he didn't like it when we neutered him, though. <laughs> He's lost a lot of energy after that. <laughs> Much calmer nowadays. It's okay. Yeah. I don't know, beer. You gotta love beer. I love beer. You know, you gotta think about, you know, loving things. Love is like a game. I've come up with this. If you're single, you're playing solitaire. You ask her to move in. You're taking a risk. And then you might be sorry. <laughs> and then you go fish. And you get her pregnant. And then it's like playing uh, memory. Because that's what sex is now. Because <laughs> she's been eating like hungry, hungry hippo. And then you're trying to, you know, Add a little spice to the life. You ask her to connect for. <laughs> and you're playing old maid because <laughs> she left. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> little twister. <laughs> she didn't like it. You gotta love life. 
You guys got kids? Clap your hands, yeah? Yeah. We have five boys, one girl. I haven't had a hot shower in years. They found my baby oil, I was lost, you know. I know, right? Where's Simon Cowell? I need him right here. Of course, he likes those skinny chicks. So. Paul Abdul likes the young ones. I don't know. I go into my son's room and he's watching something and I see him and he clicks it off. I said, what are you, what are you watching? He says, I don't know. How the hell do you not know what you were just watching? He's like, I don't know, Ma. Although he's got a pop tent. So, you know, I exit the room, you know. So I tell my husband, I said, uh, look here, you're gonna have to talk to him pretty soon. I said, I can't find my socks. I said, I don't know what the hell he's doing with them. Y'all ever seen that, you, me, and Dupree? A little something, something there? Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing. Those things are expensive. I told him, I said, I will go in on a Kleenex, you know, Bounty, the quicker puck, picker upper. I said, fuck, I'll even go in on a sham wow, okay? Just quit using my socks. Yeah. So I had my husband go talk to him, and he says, uh, look, bud, he says, uh, you masturbate too often. You might go blind. <laughs> my son said, that's not funny at all. He said, you know, my real dad went blind shortly after mom left him. <laughs> I said, there's no coincidence. Mom calls him a jack off. <laughs> Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I lived in Kentucky for a few years. <laughs> Y'all been there? Yeah. It's a whole different fucking breed down there. <laughs> they used to tell me, you have such a pretty smile. I, I hear dueling banjos and they tell me I have a pretty mouth. I'm out of there. <laughs> they would call me things like Yankee. I'm like, I don't call you things inbreederers. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Freaks. They're like, you have such a pretty smile. I'm like, a brush twice a day. You gotta try it. <laughs> they invented the toothbrush, you know. Just one. <laughs> They're pretty funny down there. I don't know. Used to have Baptist Bible thumpers. Y'all ever have those come to your door? Sorry if you are one. You didn't like my display of dildos that I had sitting out on the coffee table. I go get the red food dye coloring, you know, and act like I had a really bad cold. I'm like, <coughs> you know, spit it on them. I'm like, say a prayer for me when you leave, would you? Yeah, that got them on the road real quick. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. I used to clean for this old couple, and uh, I'd be bopping through the house, and I'm dusting, and you know, mind my own business. They were like friends of the family, my husband's granny's friends or whatever, 75 or 100, whatever the hell they were. They were old. I don't know. <coughs> and I come across it, sitting right here. It's this leopard printed toy, per se. I looked at her, I said, I'm not cleaning that. <laughs> you can't make me. She says, you ever seen one of those? I said, yeah, yeah, I have. She says, this is quite dandy little gadget. I'm like, uh-huh. She says, you have one? I said, yes, I do, but I keep mine in my top dresser drawer where they belong, not on a coffee table for everybody else to play with. She says, look here, you ever try it here? I'll show you how it works. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to see, but it's like a train wreck. You have to look what the hell she's doing. Because I hear her, she's over there. Oh, yeah, that hits the spot. I'm like, I look over. She's rubbing her neck with it. I'm like, just about then my husband's granny comes and she says, Dorothy, what are you doing? She says, why do you have a vibrator on your neck? She says, this isn't a vibrator. They call this thing here a personal massager. She said, I'm here to tell you right now that is a dildo. She says, I got one of those. I call it Breathback Mountain. And ladies from the... Red Hat Society gave it to me and after granddaddy died. They were so nice that they carved his little uh, initials all in the bottom. And she says, but I got that damn thing just about plum we were wore off. <laughs> Good old granny. She says, I miss granddad so much. <laughs> well, that's my time, guys. I'm going to bring Nick D back up here and let's give him a big round of applause.